Hey guys, it's me Parker. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing sign readings today. I did scooch the camera down a little bit because I was like, no one can really see me shuffling the cards or like how they're coming out or anything like that. Um, so we'll see who I'm reading for, but I was just looking at what signs I have left for this like round of the 12 signs. Um, and I was like, I haven't done a single earth reading yet. The magician, I'm gonna take that as Virgo. That's really funny because I was like, I saw the magician when I was shuffling the decks and I was like, if I see the magician, I'm going to take it as Virgo. <laughs> so that's funny. Hey Virgos, hope you're doing well. What's up with my Virgos? Cut the deck. <clears throat> Messages for Virgo. What's up with Virgos? Okay. <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, that's awesome. These two cards coming out. I'm going to get more. But the full meter for Aries has been coming out for everyone. This is major cyclical energy. This indicates a really positive, abundant, brand new beginning. Like the wheel moveth, the wheel of fortune's exactly what it sounds like. I'm going to shift over a little bit. The side of the camera is kind of blurry. Um, yeah, wheel of fortune. This is the start of the tarot. Um, he's leaping off the cliff. He's diving right in or taking a chance or um, taking a risk. Um... It's like I'm getting carefree energy off this, but this is very fortunate, awesome energy for this new beginning here. So we'll see what's up with that. It's, it's good, though. I like it. I like that a lot. There's your major. The Hermit. Anything else for Virgo, please? Messages for Virgo. Oh, no, that's too many. King of Pentacles. That is you guys. Your earth energy. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's crazy that those came out. Whoa. This is like kind of intense so far. Okay, so we have you. I'm assuming this is you or this is just the start of a new cycle or this is like a new opportunity. Um, a new path. This is very balanced, reciprocal energy major for Libra. We did just enter Libra season. Um, you could be a cusper for sure. Um, we just wrapped up Virgo season. We're now in Libra season. Um, but these two together, this is the card of balance, fairness, justness. Um, justice, you know, she's holding the scales there. Um, and this is like the minor to justice, really. Um, holding the scales as well. It's a reciprocal energy, but in the form of like charity, like one giveth, one receiveth. Um, or give and take, or like fairness, like again, charity. This came up in uh, Aries reading as well, and we do have the Fool here, and that reading was uh, yesterday. And yes, I'm wearing the same thing. <laughs> I put pajamas. I was going to do a bunch more readings and then I like <laughs> changed into pajamas as soon as I did the Aries reading. Anyways, justice or judgments on the bottom with justice um, and the wheel of fortune. That's like spirit heavy energy. Um, judgment is a judgment call. Judgment day. Resurrection um, can be a hopeful energy as well. So we'll see why judgment's coming out here. Um, it can be a judgment call. A judgment handed down um, by spirit or by a person um, but they are coming back from the dead there this could be resurrection of an opportunity as well Ooh, we have the devil underneath that um, major for Kepi whoa, whoa a lot of Piscean energy which is your opposite sign ow 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 sorry I cut myself with a cheese grater the other day and it's like getting pinchy <laughs> Anyways, Ramble, um, there's a Hierophant energy on the bottom. That's like the highest order 
Um, we actually have the Hierophant and the High Priestess coming and showing together on the bottom. That's a uh, very spirit heavy energy. Um, the counterpart, one in the same masculine feminine energy. Um, divine heavy energy all over this reading, but we have the Hierophant underneath the High Priestess um, with Knight of Cups, Two of Cups. So these three, like, initially were showing together. That's, like, straight-up Piscean energy, which, I mean, the devil is here. That could just be, like, your energy, like, your shadow energy, because it is on the same axis as your opposite sign, right? I call you guys the, the hospitality axis, because Pisces serves um, in a spiritual sense, and Virgo serves in a very practical earth sense. He is earth sense, right? Um, but then there's this devil energy, too. Could indicate divine, like something very divine, or very toxic, or stuck, or stagnant. I'm not sure why that's there with this two of cups and this Piscean energy. Um, but then there's also, like, this is like missing an opportunity, rejection, abandonment of an opportunity. Like, see how the Spirit's trying to offer that cup to that person there? This looks like a judgment call of rejecting something, for sure. Um, and there's devil energy attached to all that, so that's not that surprising. Um, let's look at, what do I want to use? The angel deck's calling to me for some reason. Tell me about, um, the fool. I keep getting my attention drawn to this justice energy, so the hermit. Um, so look at that first. Tell me about justice with the six of pentacles. That's very balanced, fair their energy like if that was like the actual legal system again it is justice right um it'd be like going in your favor like big time do two more shuffles for virgo why is justice here with the six of pentacles it's such fair energy could be a judgment call and having to be fair with that too right um, with how that's being dished out. Um, tell me about justice with the six of pentacles for Virgo, please. Justice with the six of pentacles. Whoa, eight of wands. Wow. Events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. With the wheel of fortune and the fool, um, again, the wheel comes in, it's energy moving. Wow. There is an Ace of Swords on the bottom here. Uh, that's truth, communication, big time. With that justice, uh, she does wield the sword of truth justly, right? Um, but with the Wheel of Fortune, that is like energy of the universe um, moving in. Um, coming in quite quickly. This, this can be communication too, especially with that Ace of Swords. Um, but it's also just energy moving. It looks like very quickly with this full energy. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see what else comes in from this deck. Uh, anything else about justice and the Six of Pentacles for Virgo, please? Oh, that's a lot. Knight of Swords. There's Ace of Wands, wow, which is like the minor to the full on the bottom. An exciting new opportunity. Ooh, this looks good, you guys. Career advancement, change your life now. This reading could definitely be read as there was a rejection or an ending here with that judgment in the Four of Cups um, that took place. And it's opening up energetically opportunities for you or for more aligned things to come in that space because energy does hold some form of space, right, um, in terms of if we're hanging on to something that's not serving us, it kind of can, the energy has to flow, right, um, we can't manipulate it that way by hanging on to things, if they're not in our greater, greater good, they have, the energy has to move, right, um, or else we get that devil energy, um, <laughs> Ego, a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. That's just screaming fear. 
This is a call to act. The Ace of Wands there. And like he's like looking over at this this one there, like the genie. He's like, yes, let's energy moving. <clears throat> Uh, Knight of Swords, events that occur with great speed. This is typically, it's it also is fast-moving energy, very fast-moving night, but it's the night of communication, intellect, um, intelligent, decisive, decisive when this energy moves in, idealistic. So again, not subscribing to fear limitations, um, tireless, um, events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options. Creative solutions. So, I mean, we have events moving at a fast pace, events that occur with great speed. By the way, check out that card. I love him. He's so fabulous. He's like, yes, on my unicorn. I'm sorry. I just love that card so much. I'd be friends with that knight for sure. Wow, this is very fast moving energy with the wheel, though. Wow. Whoa. Okay. I wasn't expecting that at all. At all. The page of wands makes sense here. This is likely coming by way of communication. Um, it's not what I thought. <laughs> this is looking like a love reading actually now, um, but I will get into that in a second. Um, page of wands. So this is that the energy moving, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Wands, uh, Eight of Wands. Both of these are heavy communication cards, and we had the Ace of Swords showing underlying before. Um, and now we have the Page of Wands, which is another communicator. So very likely, clear cut reading. This is communication. Um, we're gonna look more into what that's about with the cards that just showed, but. Page of Wands, communication, communication, communication. This is straight up verbal communication um, kind of being given um, with that Ten of Swords. Either bring something into balance to bring into balance or a gift, a straight up gift with that Wheel of Fortune energy. Um, outgoing creative. There is a call for creativity here. Creative solutions. It says on the Knight of Wands, especially in the face of this energy because it's feeling very sudden. Um, news of an exciting new endeavor, the fool with the wheel of fortune, like that's just screaming that. Use your originality and ingenuity. And then attached to that, this communicator, we have cups, 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 cups. Um, so again, remember we had this judgment call about rejection, abandonment here regarding a two of cups, that's soul connections, um, often love, but it could just be soulmates or any kind of soul contracts, friend, work, love, otherwise, but with this queen of cups and ten of cups, knight of cups, the two of cups, um, yeah, you know what, I, this could definitely be past energy, um, but it could also be not taking an opportunity because of the devil, which is showing underlying on both decks now. Uh, ego. Some of the angel cards in this deck have like alternate names, but that is the devil. Just representing as more specifically ego in this reading. Um, so fear, right? That fear. Um, again, a false sense of entrapment. Because again, remember how it's like, wow, it's weird that this devil is like right smack dab in the middle of this hero font high priestess energy like together like that with the two of cups and the knight of cups there's like this rejection oh look there's a page of cups <laughs> and then your major and the king of um earth there that's you guys so it's like very held back energy on the bottom just saying um but there is rejection here with this this um not seeing an opportunity or not utilizing an opportunity that could be the judgment call that could be this think it through um you know reviewing options using creativity in a situation um but this is speaking to ego like or fear regarding this um but yeah queen of cups uh there was a lot of piscean energy on the bottom as well um, but 
Queen of Cups is like the most loving. Queen can also be overly emotional, um, but she is of the cup. She rules the feminine aspect of the cup domain, which is like our feels, our emotions, you know, our intuition. Um, I call it still waters run deep. It's very original, I know. Um, tender hearted, empathetic, patient, loving. Patient and loving um, with that, that justice energy is very patient. Patient ass energy. Um, interesting. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself or others. Um, Ten of Cups. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. I've seen this in this, this Ten of Cups specifically before. It's not like I saw it the one time though. So... This is like very loving, intuitive, sweet queen, emotional, very emotional, feminine man or woman energy. It's just emotional, right? And receptive. Um, and the Ten of Cups is like, Ten Cups is the end of the cup cycle. It's like a family life. Like, again, they're talking about trustworthy, fulfilling relationships. There's children in this card. They're married. Um, you know, certainly that could be indicated here with the... But this is like what's coming out to clarify. We have communication, 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 right? Um, there's a degree of balance and fairness happening here and patience coming in with this. I'm kind of surprised that temperance isn't here, but I want to clarify this with the third deck. Um, with that devil energy showing, there's a temptation. If this is a queen approaching you... Um, or you're being, like, man or woman, if you're being approached by someone and this is a relationship of sorts or a contract with that justice energy or an opportunity, just any opportunity, and you'll know if this is you because these are heavy, heavy communication cards, like, very heavy. It's going to be verbal communication for sure. It's not like, yes, this is an intuitive queen, but it's not looking to me like that. It's, like, straight up physical communication either from a queen of cups about a ten of cups situation or coming into a queen queens are receptive so this stuff and again all that piscean energy that was showing that is your opposite sign right um in this ten of cups specifically oh uh, my camera's not the greatest um she looks kind of creepy um to me and there was another time where that card really creeped me out and the energy that came off of it really freaked me out i didn't like it at all I'm not getting that off the man here. Um, I'm not getting that off this card, but I am seeing that creepy edge to her. And it's making me wonder if this fear-based ego um, with this offer and rejection here has to do with how something comes off, like looks at first, right? Because there is like this fast-moving communication and a degree of taking a moment to think about it or kind of look at the situation. Um, let's use this deck. Why the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups with all of this um, communicative energy? the queen and ten of cups for virgo please one more shuffle the fool <laughs> there you are why the queen and ten of cups with all this communication for virgo oh king of swords the moon came okay. those two way too many cards i'm not taking all those but a king of swords did show. That's communication. The moon. Wow. Whew. Whew. <laughs> Queen of cups, ten of pentacles, ten of cups. That's kind of it, sis. Like, that's everything. That's fulfillment on an emotional maturity 
um, I just heard kindness, but like ultimate uh, reciprocation um, of needs being met within a relationship or family dynamic with ten of pentacles that's very long-standing things that's a legacy you build for like generations there's things that are around or have been around or will be around for a very long time like a home a family that just screams a home a family communication about that with this queen very loving queen of cups energy um, oh my god and then there's ego, 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 wrapped up all on the bottom of this um, with that devil energy. Major for Capricorn. Oof. Yeah, these two together is like, major ego 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 <laughs> like that's insane um again that showed on the angel deck but like this card is like i'm doing me at all costs even to the point of manipulating others or facing consequences for my actions um with that judgment energy and that rejection here um ego could very much stand in the way of this or something about the way that it's communicated isn't doing it justice here um the chariot major for cancer that's a lot of cancerian energy but more of that pisces energy on the bottom um this is commitment like commitment and potential for like a very fulfilling relationship is all over this um it's looking very much like love with the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles coming out Again, that is things that are matured and shared with others. Um, it doesn't have to be love, but, you know, this is things unseen, behind the scenes. Um, that's very interesting. So let's look at the Fool. The Fool and the Wheel of Fortune. Three of Wands. Abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Patience. Okay. Mm, okay, I am getting a message here about why the devil's like thrown in so much here with that ego with the five of swords again that can be facing consequences for your actions and acting in self interest. Um, for some of you, you're wanting to manipulate the situation with your words. And that's where all this communication is coming in. And it's telling you there's be patient. Have patience because you have to act on this with the wheel, not against it. You have to move with the energy. Um, yeah, because with judgment, again, that is loss of an opportunity. And there's that devil again, right? And then there's that two of cups. Um, it's like, for some of you, trying to force this is the devil. Um, and it's throwing things out of balance, right? Trying to force this energy. When it happens, it will happen quick. Um, but maybe that energy is not quite here yet. I'm definitely getting that message for some of you. Six of Pentacles. Wow, this is truly a gift, though. And Wheel of Fortune, that's what the Wheel of Fortune is. It's gifts and expansion. It's Jupiter, right? Um, anyways, <laughs> it's that kind of energy. Um, the Fool at the Wheel of Fortune for Virgo, please. Tell me about the Fool and the Wheel of Fortune for Virgo. Page of Cups. A new person enters your life. Ooh, this could be someone you've never met before. And again, for those of you, I am picking up on a group where, um, there was a rejection or something ended and it's allowing for this to come into your life. But this Page of Cups... Um, a relationship enters a new phase, heightened psychic abilities, intuitive, sensitive, artistic, friendly, page of cups, queen of cups. Interesting. This is going into this new opportunity or I just heard lifestyle, but what, ha whatever the fool is jumping off the cliff towards, this is doing so very purely, authentically, honestly, but lovingly open to new ideas and how to love, right? Um, so that's either this page... That's either you, 
jumping off the cliff or um, um, this queen and this page energy will mature into a queen but it, it will take time. Ten of cups and pentacles doesn't happen overnight. Tell me about this page with the wheel of fortune. Okay, wow, eight of cups. It always goes to the ten. The magician, wow, wow. King to the queen of cups. This could all just be you. <laughs> um, but this looks like literal communication, whether that's you with that judgment energy. But then we have your, your um, major, uh, the magician, mercurial energy. You are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. This is like very exciting energy. You look at them. They're like, do my thing. Um, again, the magician can manipulate. So try not to do that with this energy if it's a new person coming into your life, especially where there's ego. Um, but we do have the king of cups to the queen now. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. <laughs> cultured compared to this page to um, open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. You could meet this person doing charity work with that six of pentacles. Um, or be looking at them like they're a charity case and you're their freaking <laughs> match here. Um, being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate with the four of pentacles can be a very stingy energy. Remember what you give away comes back to you with that devil and overly focused um, materialistic energy. Okay, so I wish you guys all the best till next.